So it's been a little while between episode one and episode two. Spoiler warning, RJ Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly are very much still on this universe's version of the Knicks. I'm not going to just ultimately trade them for OG and Nobi because our real life Knicks made the trade. CKGM didn't make that trade. So RJ Barrett at right now and for the foreseeable future, unless there's a trade that happens in a future episode, they still Knicks. So yeah, RJ Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly are still going to be on the team. Just wanted to get that out of the way. But uh, yeah, a lot of crazies going on. Story's getting spicy. Tune in. Run the intro. After the slow start to the season, the Knicks look to get back on track against Wembenyama and the San Antonio Spurs. The Knicks went on to beat the Spurs and then the Charlotte Hornets. Sadly, Knicks fans weren't able to enjoy those wins as they dropped the next two games against the Boston Celtics and the Atlanta Hawks. In the Celtics game, Tatum and Chris Stapp's Porzingis proved to be way too much in the team's second loss to Boston this season alone. And against the Hawks, Trey Young unfortunately got the best of Jalen Brunson. Trey dropped 46 points compared to Brunson's nine measly points. And Knicks fans weren't given the chance to enjoy the little bit of success that they had before those two losses. But what wasn't expected was how the fan base would start to turn on Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson had a phenomenal first season with the New York Knicks last season, and everybody was expecting him to make that turn to be an all-star. But with the start that he's had this year with a lot of bad shooting nights and a lot of low scoring that has equaled losses for the Knicks, some Knicks fans are already skeptical about what he can provide to this team long-term. But even with those low nights he's had this season so far, the Knicks' big three all still average more than 20 points per game with R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, and Jalen Brunson. And another positive outside of their record is that the Knicks are currently 1-0 in their group for the in-season tournament. And next up, they're going to face against the Wizards. Even with Poole's 39-point effort, R.J., Julius, and Jalen Brunson all pour it on, sealing the deal. And now they go on to 2-0 in group play for the in-season tournament. The Knicks couldn't celebrate too fast, which is becoming a theme for this team, as they had an immediate game the very next day against Charlotte, and the big three powered through for a 116-104 victory. Now, as the roller coaster has been going on this season, it's starting to look like the Knicks are starting to get things back on track. I mean, they're still trying to get accustomed to the new addition in Marvin Bagley, and the rest of the team is still trying to get the chemistry together. But that won't stop the Knicks as they go 2-1 in the following week. Highlighted by a slaughter against the Miami Heat in the Knicks' third group play game for the in-season tournament. And with that win, the team will now be 3-0. But they're still trailing the number one seeded Charlotte Hornets, who are only winning slightly because of the point differential. And luckily for the Knicks, they'll be able to split this tiebreaker as their next game would be against none other than the Charlotte Hornets for this tiebreaker in the group play. Now, mathematically, either way, we should be able to move forward, whether it's a win or lose. But to solidify our spot and possibly getting the number one seed in the East, we would have to win this game against Charlotte. But if you think things couldn't get more complicated, wait until I tell you about the practice we had the day before. Now, Tom Thibodeau and the Knicks had a normal practice as we usually do, ending in a scrimmage. And unfortunately, in this said scrimmage, it was said that Julius Randle had suffered an injury. Ian Bagley tweeted this. During a scrimmage at practice, all-star forward Julius Randle rolled his ankle, still learning about his playing status. And as you'd expect, Julius did everything he could to continue playing. But the news wasn't good. After we got more information on the ankle, it was reported that Julius had sprained his right ankle and he would be reevaluated in two weeks. And in two weeks' time, that includes the New York Knicks in-season tournament hopes. I mean, tomorrow we have our tie-breaking game against the Charlotte Hornets. And if we needed Julius Randle, we needed him more now than ever. But this is why I made the move that I decided to make so early on in the season in getting Marvin Bagley. Now, Marvin Bagley has been averaging a little under 10 points a game for the team. But we know with Julius Randle going out, he can easily slide into his spot 
and provide some help for this starting lineup. And I know the timing of the injury is not great. And also with Julius Randle recovering from an ankle injury last season, it's not great to see the All-Star suffer another ankle injury. But hopefully it goes in the Knicks' favor as they go into Madison Square Garden to play in this final group play for the in-season tournament seating. And as you know, without Randle, this game will not be easy, especially with the New York Knicks outside of this tournament needing the wins for morale reasons. And going into this, the Knicks are 12th in the East. But more importantly, the winner of this game moves on to play in the wild card for the end season tournament. And Jalen Brunson had himself a commanding night as he went out there and outplayed the Charlotte Hornets by his damn self. Well, not entirely, because he did have some help from none other than R.J. Barrett, who's done a good job stepping up in the role since the absence of Julius Randle. R.J. Barrett pouring on a very important performance here in this game from the wing, hitting threes as well as everything that he could in the paint. Shot was looking good for Mr. Barrett. Great game also provided by Marvin Bagley III, who's been doing a good job stepping into the role since the absence of Julius Randle. And this is everything that you would want to see from this team going forward with the injuries and with players missing. Emmanuel quickly helping. Jalen Brunson leading and being the all-star caliber player that Knicks fans wanted to see earlier on in the season. Now we're seeing Brunson turn that around. And just like that, the Knicks are undefeated in the in-season tournament after beating the Hornets. With the Knicks winning back-to-back -back matchups against Charlotte, they will travel to Vegas for the first time in the in-season tournament's history. In the beginning of the season, there was a lot of skepticism towards the in-season tournament, Knicks fans and NBA fans alike. But after the Knicks making it to the semifinals, a lot of Knicks fans are punching their tickets to Vegas. But it wasn't done yet, because next up, we would have an old familiar foe in Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks. And as you'd expect, memes were already starting to fly with Knicks fans wanting revenge against the Hawks from a few seasons ago. <laughs> yeah, they didn't forget. And in the process of us getting ready for this game, we did get some good news as Randall started to run lightly on the injured ankle in hopes he'd be able to return the following week. But it is confirmed that the Knicks would have to go forward in this tournament without Julius Randle and continuing with Marvin Bagley as the starter. And there is also another storyline going into this game because earlier when the Knicks played against the Hawks, Jalen Brunson did not put in a good showing. And if I know Jalen Brunson, I know he's going to take that to heart and he's going to make sure he gets his redemption in tonight's game. And he did just that. Brunson went off in this game against Trey Young, helping the New York Knicks to go on and advance into the first ever in season tournament final. And we saw another huge win for the Knicks behind dynamic play by Brunson and Marvin Bagley. Both players finished with a double double, but more importantly, Marvin Bagley put in his best game of the season. And yes, Knicks fans started to overreact. We started to see the tweets and the videos about how the Knicks need to just trade Julius Randle and possibly go forward with Marvin Bagley. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Before the injury, Julius Randle has been putting in all-star type numbers. But staying focused with the task at hand, with the Knicks winning the East, they will be set to play against the star-studded Phoenix Suns, who won out West. And it's no secret that the Suns are fully tooled, and they have a lot of people believing that this may be it for the Knicks' run. Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and Bradley Beal are all having great seasons and the matchups are not in New York's favor. As for me, the person who put this team together, I do believe that this team can surprise the world. But just like that, while the game was just getting started, something else that Knicks fans would not want to see happen. Even though Knicks fans were already turning against him as the season begun, Jalen Brunson had been on a hot streak, and unfortunately we saw him now go down with a shoulder injury. More information would come, but the New York Knicks would not be able to recover as this game ended up being an utter blowout with Kevin Durant and Devin Booker doing a little bit of the work, but Eric Gordon 
going off in this game to manhandle the New York Knicks in the first ever in-season tournament final. And as sad as that is, what's more unfortunate is the news that Knicks fans all received when it was said that Jalen Brunson would be out for two to four months due to a shoulder injury. What's even worse is he sprained the shoulder on his shooting arm. We saw IQ playing some great minutes off the bench, but can Emmanuel quickly step up and help the Knicks stay afloat in his absence? Even though the Knicks lost the last game in the in-season tournament, luckily that game does not count towards the team's overall record. And the Knicks before the tournament were on a seven-game winning streak. Can these new-look Knicks fight the injuries and keep it going? Cold pizza, Tuesday. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge Y'all keep looking for that new way I think I like it how it is